All right, what a great film. You guys did such a great job. Thank so, you. Yeah, it was frightening. So <laughs> great. Um, let's start out with your characters and tell us a little bit about them. So I'll start with you, Lily. My character is Linda, and she's the youngest of all the orphans, and because of that, she gets picked on by most of them, except one, Janice. And Janice and Linda kind of form this unbreakable bond, and they're almost like sisters. And then when they move into this new orphanage, bad things start happening to Janice, really bad things, beyond, beyond Linda's wildest imagination. And she does her best to try and stop them. Tell us about your character. I play Janice, who recently received polio, and she has to walk around with a leg brace and a cane. And she gets to see all the other little girls running around and playing and having fun, which she used to be able to do. And I think it really hurts her because she can't do that anymore, and it's hard for her to move around. And the other girls kind of tease her a little bit about it. I don't think they're trying to be mean. They just have like a sisterly bond with them, just a big sister, little sister bond. So they just tease her, and she's really sensitive, so it gets to her a lot. But Linda's character really helps her through it, and she really makes her happy and brings her up most of the days. Now, you've obviously uh, done some horror films. In the yes, past too. So I have. Is, is this a genre, a, a genre that you <laughs> really like, or is there, it just happened to be that you have well, gotten involved with them? It's just so much fun, and it's especially for a child actor. Um, because you can experience a great range of emotions. Like you can experience things from great joy to great sadness and great terror and all the emotions in between and you get to use your creativity and imagination that you wouldn't necessarily want to use unless you are on set of a horror movie. So. <laughs> Do you like horror, mo horror movies? I love horror movies, watching them and being in them now. This is my first one, so it was a blast to film. I feel like all the other girls and I really bonded, and it was probably my, one of my favorite projects that I've done. Oh, fantastic. And talking about the other girls, it was a great cast, so how was that filming with all of them? It was so cool because we're all so many different ages and we have different personalities. You wouldn't expect us to actually be friends aside from filming, but then our personalities really came together and we actually developed this great bond. We became like a family on set. Um, I feel like it was just great working with this cast because it was a it was a cast of mostly females and they were all very strong people and uh, throughout the film not just one or two of them are fighting, all of them are fighting. They're fighting for their life and they're willing, they're willing to give up their own lives for their family. Now, it's obviously extremely scary to watch this film, but were there any times at all when you were shooting that were a little bit scary at all? I mean, while we were filming, it could be scary on set when yeah. you're in character and like the whole scene's coming together, but really you know that you're not, you are safe. There are people right outside of set and waiting for you and taking care of you and making sure you're okay. So it wasn't like really scary when you were thinking about a scene. You didn't feel like unsafe on set. But at the same time, when you're in character, it's definitely horrifying seeing the Annabelle doll and like yeah. screaming and running. Yeah. Um, I feel like the only time that I was really scared was, um, was when I was under the stairwell because it was completely dark. It was pitch black. And the only people in the stairwell was, under the stairwell, was me and Annabelle. So I tried to go at the opposite, of, opposite side of where she was sitting. It just freaked me out so much. And the minute they yelled cut, I ran out. <laughs> I ran for my life. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's talk about Annabelle. So why is it that, it, what makes her so scary, do you think? For me, I think it's just, it's unpredictable. You don't expect it at all because dolls are like angelic things that you get your children, they play with, and you imagine like just playing with them. But with this doll, it actually has a demonic presence in it and you would not expect that at all, not knowing at all. But really with Annabelle, she's evil and she wants to kill you. And I just think for me, it's just like, you wouldn't expect it because you think they're like this safe little toy that kids can play with. I feel like because she looks so much like a human, like she 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 doesn't look like just another doll. Like she doesn't look like a Barbie, and she doesn't look like an American Girl doll. She just she looks like Annabelle. 
because her face is so realistic right down to her eyes and the way her eyes are shaped and the colors and all the detail that's put into them and her size too she's really big <laughs> and she um she's really heavy too it's crazy very and heavy. it's very it's very human like which is super creepy <laughs> That's, uh, that's great. So, and let's talk about David Sandberg as a director. Like, how, what did he bring to this that, you know? I've never worked with a director that was actually like that much invested in every single scene. He took them all so seriously and every camera angle, he was just very professional on set. And actually in the dollhouse scene, he was actually waiting right behind the dollhouse. And in between scenes, he had his own like personal little monitor. Instead of being with all the other producers, like most directors I've worked with, but he was right behind the dollhouse with his monitor and he'd pop up and he'd give me a direction in between scenes. It was hilarious working with him. <laughs> um, I also feel like he's very different from all the other directors that I've worked with because he, he makes the scene scary while you're filming it instead of waiting for the special effects to be put in and stuff. He makes it, he gives you a backstory of the scene. He tells you, he really, go through the details of what you're going to be doing and I just feel like it's a really cool experience especially to work with that kind of director where you're given that kind of direction. Wow. So what do you think audiences are in store for when they go see this? Extreme terror. <laughs> to be horrified. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs>